111 years old, Austin's beloved Richard Overton is not only America's longest living veteran, he's now the oldest man in the country. But funding Overton's 24-7 home care isn't cheap, which is why his family is putting out a plea to keep the donations coming in. KXAN's Kylie McGivern takes a closer look at the challenges many families face when caring for an aging loved one. This Thanksgiving, the Overtons are thankful to still have Richard by their side. Glad to be with him whenever I see him. And it has made a major difference. It's like he has a second lease in life. The difference, around the clock home care for nearly a year now. Uh, he's really enjoying his ride now, you know? And that's great to see him happy. The problem, Overton's family tells us, is after raising $200,000 on GoFundMe, they only have about a month's worth of funding left before they have to scale back the level of care. And just that care alone for one year is about $180,000. Looking at running about $15,000 a month. Just the sad thought of moving him out of his home would be, you know, devastating. And I want to stay at home. Overton isn't alone. All the research shows that people want to age at home. Tom Knudsen serves on the board of Capital City Village, a community of seniors committed to aging at home. Financial and practical reasons also coming into play. Almost any place around here that is a retirement community has a long waiting list. Knudsen says a big problem in our community is people not knowing what services are available. But a person sitting at home, whether he's in Westlake Hills or Terrytown or in East Austin in a family in a house that a family's owned forever. It's very hard to find information about where to go and what to do and how to stay healthy. Options for the families of Austin's rapidly growing population of seniors who, like the Overtons, was, just uh, need guidance thing. and support. So we'd like to just keep this uh, wonderful thing going as long as possible. Keep him smiling and happy as long as we can. Kylie McGivern, KXN News. We've included a link to Richard Overton's GoFundMe page, along with senior resources in our community on our website. Just head to KXAN.com. And this is something more and more families are wrestling with. At the start of the decade, the Brookings Institution found the Austin metro area had the fastest growing population of pre-seniors in the nation. We also ranked second in population growth of seniors, and that's people 65 or older. The estimate is by 2040, more than a half a million senior citizens will be living in the area, and many of them will need care.